fed wide here for Jordan Ayew. And the cross is a disappointing one. Gravenberg does get the foul in the end. He was wondering for a moment. It's not the worst free kick to give away from Odson Edward because it was Mark Gurhey who'd made his way into the box right from the back. So on the counter, he was struggling to get back. Joy Hodgson hasn't had a win over Liverpool since he was in charge of West Bromwich Albion back in 2012. Sun is coming out. Four seasons in one day, I think, in South East London. It was pouring with rain when we arrived. That's gone away happily. We've got some wind, we've got a little bit of sun as well. Some drives went towards Simicat. It's flag's gone up here or offside. 20 years younger he is than Roy Hodgson. Been a long, long reign since 2015 at Anfield. And he's won just about every trophy available to him, bar the uh, Europa League, and Liverpool will be favourites to win that this year, this season anyway. Three thought so. He's done really well again. Instant control, a difficult one from the goalkeeper, but his first touch was perfect. Keeps the ball really close to him. A little nudge in the back, enough for the referee to give the decision and give Crystal Palace a bit of respite. First ball towards Jeff Sharp, who did well there. Lovely first touch from him. Couldn't get the cross away, unfortunately, from a Palace point of view. Liverpool do have a very good defensive record, the joint best in the division, in fact. But at times they have looked a bit shaky this season, even in that Europa game recently against Lask, who created a number of opportunities and took none of them. get at them here here's Hughes with another corner kick Anderson won it tries to win it again Alexander Arnold looks to pick up Diaz Ever good noise from the Palace fans, the Liverpool supporters just underneath our commentary position making their presence felt as well. Here's Van Dyke. Free kick. Because there's massive pressure, isn't there? at the top mat to keep on winning because the pace is so hot at, in the division which is why Manchester City have just fallen off it a bit recently with four games without a win yeah, the teams at the top know that Man City will come strong again done it. last season they were a number of points behind ended up winning the title yes, yes, I think they're still the bookmakers favourites despite the fact that they're a little way off the pace just at the moment. But we do have 23 matches still to go. Such good rotation in this Liverpool side at the moment. Salah's come central. Nunes has gone out to the right-hand side. They'll switch. Diaz and Simicas are switching their positions. Soberslight is going out wide, and Trent alexander arnold is coming central. Difficult. You've got to be really talking in that Crystal Palace side, passing people on, going with runners. Ooh, that looked a bit touch and go for a moment with Alisson out of position. Alisson's last game was that one where he had an uncharacteristically shaky day against Manchester City. 
And he's really picked up a hamstring injury that day as well. And today, ahead of Alexis McAllister Endo. He's had a few stitches in the knee wound, hasn't he, McAllister, which are played into that decision. He's been a bit slow to get going though, hasn't he, Endo? Been caught in possession a couple of times, a bit late in that challenge. It's that crossfield ball again, they've tried that a few times, they don't win the header. Palace getting a little higher up the pitch. two early signs here that this might be a trickier assignment for Liverpool than we originally thought. Palace very determined, the wind not helping Liverpool's cause either. It's a bit of a factor, isn't it? Well, I think that you'd have expected a reaction from Crystal Palace after the defeat in midweek, where they were so disappointed against Bournemouth. And I think you'd have expected the setup as well, making it difficult for Liverpool to play through them, being really tight and compact. We'll have to be patient. Graven Burke on towards Diaz, who showed a little bit too much of the ball to the opposition, and here comes Palace with a chance to counter. Are you? He's only got Edouard really to aim at at the moment. Lerma's arriving as well, and Lerma! Alisson, does he keep it out? Yes, he did. It was a fantastic save. He nearly spun in, but not quite for Palace. What a chance, and what a save. Well, it's been all Liverpool, but how close were Crystal Palace to taking the lead? Brilliant from Alisson. And there's a moment where Jurgen Klopp was glad he had his number one keeper back. But here's Diaz at the other end. And a plot away through, Wood's not going to allow it. Great run from midfield by Jefferson Lerma to get there, get his effort on target. He really did nothing wrong, but it was a super save. But as many that think that Allison is Liverpool's most important player, he's missed the last couple of matches, but back in the side, and what a save this is. I mean, I think the, the ball is meant for Edouard, but Lerma does brilliantly to get up in support. And what about this for the goalkeeper getting across and making a big save? Fantastic goalkeeping, lightning reactions, and he was up quickly as well. That's why he's one of the best. Having said that, watching that back, Lerma should score. He had a big part of the goal to aim at. The post Glor came to their aid as well. Glorious chance. Yeah, when you saw that camera from behind, there was a big gap. Endo's caught in possession again. Play on, use, Edward! Van Dijk, is that a penalty? Yes, it is! Denial of a goal-scoring opportunity, but because it's restored from the spot, it's only yellow for Van Dijk and Palace with a spot kick. Not much doubt about it. Didn't look like it anyway. Well, I've talked about it a couple of times now. Endo being caught in possession. It's happened too many times. It's Will Hughes putting the pressure on, slides in Edward. He's going for the ball, Virgil Van Dijk, but it, it definitely brings the man down. just about to pull the trigger but there's a, absolutely a foul on Edson Hudson Edward I think it's the third time that Endo has been caught in possession John Brooks is the video assistant referee who's just looking back on that they are of course they have to check it under the VAR protocol well I think they've, they've confirmed that the pen, it's a penalty it's whether there was a foul on Endo in the build-up they're looking at Will Hughes's tackle on Endo. Is this a foul? Well, the referee that, didn't think so, did he? He allowed play to continue. Is it a clear and obvious error? And he's got his arm around Endo. That looks like a foul to me. Look, he's got his arm around him. He's trying to win the ball back. Doesn't get the ball. He kicks the man. I think that's a free kick. Yeah, but is it a clear and obvious error on the original well, decision? I think it's a foul. That looks a foul to me. Well, let's see what they come up with here. 
Will that incident get Liverpool off the hook? Confirmation of what you said, they correctly awarded the penalty, but they're saying a foul. And I tell you what, Endo is the most relieved man in the stadium here. But, yeah, he's going he's to go and look at it, though. He's going to look at it. But I think there's only one decision usually when this happens. The likelihood is he's going he's gonna to change his decision. Personally, that's a foul. Yes, Endo's sense of relief because he has been guilty of giving the ball away too often but that's a foul no doubt in my mind that this is the right decision to disallow it and give Liverpool a free kick so Andy Madley is looking at it in slow motion several times over we don't often see a referee say you know what I'm going to stick with my original decision let's see if he agrees with you Matt Taking his time, isn't he? Big decision. And a continuing conversation. It's taking a long time to make this decision. I think it's a clear foul. Now they're going to show it in real speed. We can hear the conversation. We're sorry you're not allowed to yet. That might change in days to come, years to come. Yep, the goal's going to be ruled out. Liverpool fans love it. The Palace fans are absolutely incensed. So's Roy Hodgson, I'll bet. There's another huge talking point. Suddenly, Liverpool love VAR. I think they've come to the correct decision, but it's a real warning sign for Liverpool and Endo. You haven't got that much time in the middle of the pitch. He made up his mind to try and play the ball off, then held on to it, and Will Hughes has really tried to close him down, and that's the third time he's lost the ball. He needs to be very careful. 